dann quietsch mir morgen mal ganz tief. Ich bin äh, Pixar Bargeld, geboren 1959 in Westberlin. Ich bin hauptsächlich Musiker, Texter, Sänger. Aber in diesem Fall bin ich ein Ideengeber und Regisseur für einen Film über einen Freund von mir namens Dror Pfeiler. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. Ich habe Dror Pfeiler circa Mitte der 90er Jahre kennengelernt. <lacht> Durch ein Projekt namens Die Vollstreckung kostbarer Erinnerungen, The Execution of Precious Memories, das erstmalig hier äh, im Tacheles aufgeführt wurde mit Musik von dem inzwischen verstorbenen polnisch-schwedischen Komponisten Spigniew Karkowski. Und da war äh, Dror eben einer der Mitmusiker und ich war sozusagen der Sprecher und Librettist. Und später habe ich das noch zweimal mit, mit Dror aufgeführt. Und äh, seitdem habe ich äh, Dror immer mal wieder getroffen, immer mal wieder gesehen. Und äh, ich glaube nicht, dass wir noch mal konkret irgendwo zusammen gespielt haben. Aber es war mein Wunsch und meine Vorstellung, vielleicht mit Dror zusammen ein paar Stücke zu schreiben, die man dann als Tour äh, an verschiedenen Orten zur Aufführung bringen kann. Und das, was wir hier auch in dem Film sehen, ist die ersten Tage dieser Arbeit. Das wird wahrscheinlich noch ein paar Monate oder Jahre dauern, bis das fertig ist. Aber vielleicht wird es irgendwann fertig und dann gehen wir ein bisschen damit auf Tour. Ja, das war dann so ein Kombinationsdenken, dass ich einfach gedacht habe, okay, also ich, wenn ich jetzt schon mit, mit Dror arbeite, dann könnte ich ja eigentlich auch vielleicht diese beiden Dinge zusammenfassen. Dror, die Arbeit mit mir und Dror, der politische Aktivist, Dror, der Komponist etc. etc. Und äh, vielleicht äh, würde das sich tragen. Here we go. Frequencies. It depends which one, exactly, how you tune them. And that's yeah. on the scrambled eggs. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's where you make the scrambled yes. eggs. Here it's the, the hard cooked. It's, yes, it's it, a hard cooked egg, yeah. and then. So that's a scramb That's okay. That's scrambling. Yes. Yeah. Well, what I can do here is, I mean, I have these these uh, delays. They have no 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 delays. They they have uh, and they have no memory, especially. That's an yeah. important thing to know. Uh, 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 or I can uh, 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 play. Uh, 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 yeah, no, I mean, I can give you the. Uh... Oh, 
the broken layer custom thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good that I have uh, transcribed the, uh, the bit uh, piece that I actually mm -hmm. sang. I think that is that is actually uh, very. Uh, there's much hope in it. That's uh, could could be good. I think that. And then also these positive sometimes has, have some low yes. things like that too. That, like that could be that yeah. could be uh, but that for, could be nice. But for me, what was nice when you sing, what was when you were singing was that somehow you, your words was like broken as the yeah, 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 you, you, you the, just I came into I, it. I, I you enter it just yeah, yeah, like that's this. Fine, but uh, this once, nice. once it's written. I will. I, yes. I, I, I don't want to double the idea of the no. broken layer custom exactly in no, of in the words, but of course I can't make it the same kind of straight line singing on a broken no, 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 layer no, custom. No, no. So it no. would be good. False rhyme endings, yes. too short lines, yes. things like that. Yes. It, it, things that ca coming, not, coming not on time. In, there, there is no time. <laughs> there is a time. There is. Yeah, it's, it's invisible time. Yeah. In, I, okay. That's that's my my specialty. Yes. Coming okay. in on invisible yes. time. Invisible yeah. time. Yeah. I think maybe because <coughs> in Israel I was so much involved in many other things, in politics yeah. and everything. Yeah. So there was no place. When I came to Sweden, yeah. suddenly I have no language. I could not speak Swedish. Yeah. So there was a place for something yeah. else. Yeah. I, I think yeah. so. And I don't know. Taken, and that was the music. Taken, that was taking my music. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's only kind of after construction, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good as enough. His, as his memory, yeah. And then I study five years in the academy. Mm. There are the, the more extreme things that you did with your music there. Yes. Playing uh, in the Colombian... Jungle in the jungle. Uh, yes. This didn't bring so much money, I must say. No, that. well, I'm not talking about <laughs> money. It's still a very <laughs> extreme thing to go and meet Farc in the uh, yes. Colombian jungle and play yeah, saxophone. But it is also the story how I met them from the beginning is yeah. very interesting. It's somebody of the Farc saw this score somewhere in Cuba. And one day they knock on my door in Stockholm and say, hello, we are representative of FARC in Scandinavia. I would like you to come to play for our soldiers. I told them, you know, do you know what music I, you know, no one of us spoke Spanish. Mm -hmm. So we... Uh, what, you went with the whole ensemble? Yes, six people. <laughs> and my son, then 19 year old, was our translator because he spoke Spanish. Spanish. So he had, as a 19 years old boy, went there. And uh, it was fantastic to, to play music and theater uh, mm -hmm. to people who have never seen. Mm -hmm. uh, they've never seen saxophone. Mm -hmm. They call it the instrument that sounds like a horse. Mm -hmm. They heard me playing, so. <laughs> it was very interesting to, to do that. And then after this, I decided I, want, I wanted to make a film about them. Then I realized they were singing all the time. Cuentan que un barco viajero cruzaba las aguas bajo las estrellas Dicen que dos marineros cantaban alegres su nueva aventura. En un rincón un muchacho tocaba guitarra tan desprevenido. Sus ojos no decían nada, tan solo tocaba mirando la luna. One of them, he sang a song about a, a lonely man who played his guitar, was very lonely, and he's going on a boat and the boat is sinking, and he is rescued by a mermaid with a ice, <laughs> with a color of honey. And, and then I ask him, have you ever seen the sea? No. He was born 3,000 kilometers from the sea. A, it's called Cantos de la Columna Vertebral, songs mm. from the spinal cord. Yeah, cord. Yeah. Mm. So, gentlemen. This looks great. I can't do that. I saw the, yeah, okay, <laughs> the kohlrabi, sour and marinated mm -hmm. kohlrabi, mm -hmm. pear and hemp emulsion. Mm -hmm. Enjoy them. Thank so you do you like much. a glass of wine? So Yes, I yeah. do. Uh, what was it, your unit or your thing in the Israeli army? What, what, I, well, you, I was in parachute first. Parachuting? Yeah. Bazooka? A bazooka, well, everyone learned to shoot bazooka. But everyone learned to yes. shoot But I was more uh, into... Uh, uh, diffusing minds. Oh. They say to me, Feiler, you are a communist. 
if you, if you don't succeed, <laughs> <laughs> they had a very practical way. <laughs> it's a very cynical yes. approach. So I had to go with a stick, you know. To, yeah, but it's uh, when they sent us to Gaza, yeah. 1970. And they gave us an order that uh, I found illegal. Yeah. They say if the, you're being shot from a crowd, shoot, shoot into, into the, the crowd. crowd. I say this is like, I don't go this order is illegal because I will kill probably a lot of innocent people. The guy who shoot, he will he, get, away. He get away. So uh, after some problem with the military law, I was transferred to another part of the country. So in the end, in my last year in the army, huh? they sent me to my kibbutz. The last year, I, did, I served at home. And the kibbutz was where you, where you were living from, from birth? Or? No, I came to the kibbutz in 1965. I was 14. Yeah. And other sisters and brothers? My sister lived there too. Yeah. And she's two years younger than yeah. she was like uh, then 11 or 12. Yeah. So, so whole family in the kibbutz? Yes. And, then we'll... and then we stayed there yeah. until I left. And my father, he was there until he died. My mother is still living there, but it's not kibbutz she anymore. Still, no, she still lives in the same my mother. territorial <laughs> place, so yes. to speak, but it's yes. not a kibbutz Yes, anymore. exactly. It's a, become, become a kind of a village. What's your mother doing? She's 93. She's pensioner. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, until hmm. one year ago, until, one, uh, until November, two, no, more than, until one year ago, she was uh, working as a nurse. Yeah. Until 92. But now she feels that she is too old and too weak. So she, 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 she is at home. But she's still there. Yes. Yeah. I was Skyping with her this morning. Okay, and in and you're out. Lama at Aifa Yom. I'm in Aifa Bates and Kol Yom. Yofi. Ken, I'm Lee Mod Hasesh and I'm not going to go. And I'm going to go to Lasky. שאולי היא תבקש uh, עכשיו עוד פעם, תנסה, לבקש אישור. אני לא חושבת ש... שזה יצליח. אולי לא יצליח, אבל בוא, למה לא ננסה? הכי הרבה. ביי. ביי. תודה. Yeah, but then mixed together and starts making sense as becoming a, a whole thing, or...? Yeah, in a way, it's a whole thing. In a way, you are that. Yes, I, I am that, yes. Yeah. Uh, I always quote D'Alembert, that was the editor of First Encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. He wrote a little pamphlet called mm -hmm. About the Freedom of Music. Mm -hmm. And he said like this, and I quote, not exactly, but... All forms of freedom are bound together. The freedom mm -hmm. of music starts the freedom of the feeling, mm -hmm. starts the freedom of the thinking, starts the freedom of acting. Mm -hmm. And freedom of acting is the enemy number one of the state. <laughs> so if you want to keep the monarchy, don't change the form of the opera. <laughs> and I think this is a great quotation from 1752. I was commissioned to write a piece for orchestra. bass flute, a prepared piano, mm -hmm. and orchestra. The day of the concert, I was informed that the orchestra refused to play my piece because they said it was too loud. There is no amplification more than amplification of the bass flute and the prepared piano. So from a modern point of view of electric guitars and big orchestras, it's of course, it's ridiculous. I really don't want you to suffer. I would like you to enjoy. I know it's difficult because the way it's written. I know it's difficult because how the music sounds. But the piece is called Halat Hisar. It means under siege. And my vision is to have some kind of a siege of these two solists with the orchestra. And to put somebody under siege, it's not pleasant. From Anbeginn der Stücke schaukelt sich das hoch und es bleibt die ganze Zeit bei diesen Werten. Es ist sehr laut. Wenn er sagt, wir können es leise spielen, dann spielen wir es eben noch leiser. Punkt. 
aber mit Intensität. Das wird lächerlich, wenn man das mit auf den Kopf oder so macht. Und wer garantiert, dass es heute Abend nicht zu so laut ist? Haben Sie heute nicht und sagen, das Stück geht nicht? Aber wir können das Stück nicht laut machen. Ja, mein Gott. Ja, da muss ich sagen, das ist eine überwältigende Majorität, sage ich, für eine Unterstützung. Ich kann nur sagen, wir sagen das Stück ab. They say it was louder than the jumbo jet. Now, yeah, this is a, the, you know, the strange thing is, you, you send somebody with a, the measuring equipment to yes. a motorhead concert, yes, yes. and they, they, they measure by decibel, and everything is louder than the whole airport. Yes. But you don't measure like that. You should measure in stone, which is a, like a complete frequency spectrum yes, yes. telling you a middle of saying, okay, this is your subjective and idea not, of how loud actually something and is. Not only that. Because decibel doesn't make any they have, sense. They have made many experiments showing that if you like the sound, yep. you can tolerate much louder. Sure. And if you shot a gun behind your back, you get a lot of, you can get hurt. Yeah. The ears. But if yeah. you see the gun, yeah. you not get hurt. <laughs> so it is also psychological. The, the yeah. ear muscles are adjusting. Anyway, there is. What is it? So enjoy the stereo gun with the sturgeon. Sturgeon. Yeah, with sturgeon. The, with the fennel. Yeah? Fennel. Yep. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Sturgeon from around here too, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I had a band before called Too Much Too Soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's. Uh, I have kind of. Uh, no, yeah, you have a very, in a lot of pieces that I know from you, you yeah. you're really barricading yes. everybody with sound. Yes. These two who will play it, they were my teachers, and they say they were so happy with the piece because they felt, this, this is what they say, it felt like it was written yesterday. Mm. The meat is coming, so, Donald. But maybe, I, maybe I'm also vegetarian, not only uh, allergic. Uh, yeah, you're <laughs> also vegetarian. <laughs> oh, this smells in here. The sauce is smelling. So, the main course, yeah. Thank you. Spare rib and celery. Thank you Enjoy, very much. Yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm Jewish. I cannot eat this. No, I'm Jewish. <laughs> no, it's no problem. So it's I eat this for you. Beef. <laughs> the beef? Yeah. It's beef. It's not right. It's a, you sure it kosher slaughter? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, yeah. Also, also there, there, yeah. is a, there is a definite and obvious combination between a political ambition yes. and, a political, and, the and a political understanding. And, and the music. And the music. Yes. And that is pretty rare in, yes. in, in your music. Yes. Mm -hmm. But how to make this kind of way of thinking more open so other people mm -hmm. can be a part of it without have to commit yeah. to a style. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah style is overrated yes, anyway. Yes, style, yes. Style, it's better not to have a style. Yes. Anyway. It's because uh, it's pretty hard to get rid of the style when you have to get rid of yeah. the style. You know, write something for something, as you do now, writing for a puppet theatre. If you would have a style, you would have a problem getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Is that a record? That's the first suit for you. We've got a milk chip and the, there's a poppy seed zombie mm. with a milk cream mm. and some dandelion flowers in it. You know, we had an installation in the historical museum, Museum of Antiquities in Stockholm. Gunilla and me uh, were invited to make a piece of art. It was called Snow White and the Madness of Truth. Mm. It was a, a pool, mm. seven meter on three meter, Outside, it was filled with uh, blood like liquid. And on it was a, a little boat, and on the sail of the boat was a picture, a photo of a suicide bomber, Hanadi Jaradat, who blew herself up in Haifa in a restaurant. And there was text and uh, music, it was Bach Kantat that I was uh, rearranging. Mein Herz schwimmt in Blut. And the Israeli ambassador attacked our work of art, he smashed it mm -hmm. on the opening night. 
and uh, he took one of the of the lamps of the insulation, threw it into the water. Do you care to give a comment? On this? I want to come to the controversy in, in just a moment. So here is a model we make. This model is described the incident and the work of art. You can see there the ambassador standing there just near the lamp and the video uh, filmmaker who happened to be exactly there. So I would like to thank the Israeli ambassador for giving me the whole world as a scene for my art and political views. And since then, this is, I think, is the point when the Israeli government and the Israeli authorities, they have decided that uh, they will go after me. So the one thing we have actually not talked about which is, of course, forming a, a large part of your political activism, mm -hmm. is the uh, fleet to Gaza. Ship to Gaza, yeah. Ship to Gaza. Yes. In the first boat, uh, the first flotilla, we went together, six boats, in 2010. We have a film here when I play on the, on, in the harbor of Napoli, when we leave in the last stage of the flotilla, after going all the way from uh, north of Sweden from Umeå, all the way down to Gaza, 5,000 nautical miles. The last part, last port was Napoli, and my people are uh, celebrating us going. I play Bella Ciao, and, and 3,000 people singing. It, it was an incredible feeling. And on the 1st of May, we're being attacked by the Israeli army. The first of a humanitarian mission. We are civilians disobeying your leaders. And they, it was a severe attack. Ten people killed in 1890, very wounded. I was getting uh, harassed, broken ribs and whatever. You can see me there with the megaphone trying to speak to the soldiers, uh, trying not to provocate but to tell them please don't come on the boat you can see people dying on these pictures they're really dying it is not fake and not to forget they took my saxophone i know that and this saxophone is they've been in prison now for six years it's the only saxophone in the world but this saxophone is not I must admit, it is not my best saxophone. You didn't. You I didn't take my nice take, one. You didn't take the Stradivari. No, of I didn't take the one I played yesterday on. No, I did not. Okay. I took it, but but I was stupid enough to t to, to to take my best mouse piece. And this was stupid. Thank it you. took me some years to find it, but I found. It. So uh, the last dessert, black salsify, um, wood ruff and yogurt. Yeah, enjoy them. Wutraff is Waldmeister. What is Waldmeister? Wutraff, Waldmeister. What is this? Waldmeister is, a, a, is a, a more a shadowy, growing, very aromatic plant that grows in the forest. Which one is this? Salsify. Which one is this? Schwarzwurzel. Oh, Schwarzwurzel. Mm -hmm. Schwarzwurzel ice cream and... My ma grandmother would be very happy. She loves food and... Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh.
So, das ist die Adresse für die Webseite von Dror Pfeiler. Und das ist das Spendenkonto für Ship to Gaza. Danke. <lacht>